Hi guys, um, Janet Miller Monocles here again. Here's my information, uh, miller.janet.1999 at gmail.com. And I am a unique presenter, and I'm here to make another video. We're going to do some stuff with our eyes, and it'll be a lot of fun. So if you have any questions, contact me, or you can always go to my unique sales uh, page, which is uniqueproducts.com slash Janet Miller Monocles. Okay. So I had a question from one of my friends on Facebook, and they were wondering if this makeup bled, like if you cried or if you had watery eyes. And honestly, it doesn't because um, I usually, I, again, like wipe my makeup off within like an hour or two of having it on. And this stuff has a lot of staying power. How do you get it off? Just a face cloth or, um, you know, soap and water like you would any water-resistant um, mascara. Okay. So what I'm going to do today is do some eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of our primer that we have. It is our Glorious uh, product. Okay, so just a tiny little bit. This is the product uh, information. A little goes a long ways. So this is $39.99, but again, this is, this will last you forever. So you can see I just took a little dot. It's on both um, fingers now, and this is plenty. So just rub it in, and you can prime your whole entire face, but today I'm just focusing on the eyes, so I would just um, do that. Now, always use your ring finger because it has the least amount of muscles in your um, hand. So if you want to prove that to yourself, you can take your hands like this, you can move those ones across, those ones in your pinky finger. But when you try to do it with your, not that hour, um, with your other hand, anyway, it's a lot harder to get those to work. Now I'm curious as to. That's what it is. Okay, put them together so you can move those. You can move those. But you can't hardly even move your ring fingers together. And if you would, you can't move them. Okay, so those are the ones that have the least amount of strength. Okay. So we are primed and ready to go. Do you have to use primer? No, but it makes it stay a lot longer. And so I would suggest it. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to do an overall um, color to uh, the upper area. And so today I think I'm going to go with our beautiful. So you just open it up like you guys know the drill already. Tap some on there. Okay, again, a little goes a long way, so you can see I don't really have that much in there. My fingers still painted them in my last night's video, so sorry about that. Okay, so just um, put it on there, tap a little bit, and then, again, I'm just doing the upper brow area for this color. Okay? And then do it on the other side as well, so that you're nice and symmetric, and that you remember what colors you use. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do with this video a little bit is we're going to talk about how to use our pigments as eyeliners and also the, what water does to the pigments to make them um, more uh, stronger. All right, so then um, I'm going to do this um, Empowered. And this one has a little bit of sparkle to it. And I'm going to do the inner part of my eye with that color. Okay. So just a little, especially with the sparkles, goes a long way, okay? So just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna put that guy away. Um, let me go there, I think. I don't know, I'll put that later. All right, so then what we're gonna do is I'm going to take the darker color, and this is crushed. And you have this fancy dancy little crease brush. Okay, and this works really well to get into the creases that we're looking for. Okay, so again, put a little bit in there. Woo! Don't drop your bottle on your back and floor like I almost just did. That would be sad. Okay, and then I'm going to just do my entire lid with this color. All right, so you see how it's going on in a nice light color? Well, we have this fabulous product that's rose water. But if you want to, you can use water too. But the rose water works a little bit better. But um, what you're gonna do is just get your brush wet. So 
I'm going to find where I put it. Sorry. Let's put a little bit in my um my cover here. All right. And so what you're going to do is you are going to um, tap some of your pigment out on your lid, wet your brush just a little bit, okay, and then dab it right into the pigment, and you will see an amazing difference. Okay, so you see I have just a little bit on there, and now I'm going to do a crease and a C motion. Oops. I'm watching you do it, and I did it backwards. Okay, so you see how this addition of a little bit of water, this is the same color as that, but the addition of just a little bit of water made the pigment so much stronger. So we're going to do that on the other side, too. Okay. Nice C, um, C um, shape. Okay, can you guys see how that made the color a lot more robust? Okay, swipe off your brush um, and put things away. All right, then I like to um, finish off with um, a little bit of uh, white in the corners of your eye because it really makes your mascara or your eyes pop. Okay, so I actually have Naive here. It's a little bit of a grayish color, but um, I like it. It's a metallic color. And again, a little bit goes a long way with all of these products. Okay, so just dab a little bit, and then just a little. Tiny bit on the inside of your eyes. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but it really does make the color pop. Okay. So now, what we can do, put my cat's saying hi, can you hear it in the background? Hi, Toby. So what we're going to do now is get a little bit more of that water, and we're going to use our, um, our brush to get it wet. Okay, so I'm gonna, my next demo is going to be for nails, so I have my little acrylic nail kit here. Okay, so again, um, we're going to... Um, Hop, tap out some powder. Okay. And so, you want to say hi? Sophie's my movie star. Whenever I do anything online, she always comes and says hi. Okay, so you see how the angle, the brush angle is really little? Okay, dip that in your, your rose water or your water, then dip it right in your pigment. Okay, you can see that you have some on the brush. So then all you're going to do just put it on like you would eyeliner. Sophie, you're fine, hon. You're actually my sweetie. Okay, so you can be down the top and the bottom. Okay. And repeat on the other side. So you can see that it really makes a nice rich pigment um, on your eyes. Okay, so now it's time for the wonderful lashes. So we have our lashes right here. They're a fiber. You guys know the drill. But we'll do it again. So you have your long tube and your short tube. Okay, so you're going to put the long tube on first. Okay, just like you would normal mascara. Okay, and this is, oops, the glue that holds everything together. And then you take your fabulous extension fibers, and you put those on all over top. Okay, it's hard to do when I'm looking into the screen. Great, make sure you seal it. 
and you guys know I like to do a couple different layers because it's so amazing. So I am going to do another layer of fibers to really get that length on there. Okay, and then seal it. And I'll clean that up on my nose. So look at that. It's kind of amazing. Okay, so let's do the other side. I'm notorious for getting mascara on my face all the time. Whenever I put it on, it's like I miss my eyes. It's kind of funny. Alright, so the other side. Now, normally I do mascara on top and bottom, and you can do that with this too, but I found that um, just doing the top makes your eyes pop so much, and these guys are just so amazingly awesome that I don't even bother putting it on the bottom anymore because um, the top of my eyes just pop so well. Okay, so there's the first layer. Okay, seal it. And then again, I like a second layer, you don't have to do it. Sometimes they even get crazy and go to a third layer. Alright, and then final coat here, and then we are done. So, you can see, with me taking time to fumble around, drop things, pick things up, and describe everything. It only took 12 minutes to do my entire face for makeup, okay? So that is not that much time, and I think everyone deserves that much time and effort on themselves every day. So, that is my video. You can see how awesome the lashes are, right? And then the makeup, you can see, and that'll be there today at the end of the day. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Again, here's my information, Janet Miller Monfils. My email directly is miller.janet.1999 at gmail.com. Or you can go to my unique products page, and that is uniqueproducts.com, Janet Miller Monfils. And um, you can look at all these fabulous products that I demoed today, and you can answer any of the questions. Okay, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.